Hey everyone, finished watching the next episode of Beetleborgs, Joe's Strange Change. Wolfie is fooling around with a book of magic spells and accidentally hits Joe. Joe now looks like a completely different person. Flabber can't reverse the spell, but he can cast a new spell that will make it so anyone who didn't witness the prior spell will see her as she was. Unfortunately, he doesn't know if the spell will last. The Magnivores, meanwhile, bring to life a new monster, Hammerhands. He's intent on smashing something, so they send him to Hillhurst. The kids take part in a scavenger hunt later, and they compete against Van Tripp and Heather. Heather insists on going up to Hillhurst. While looking for the next item on their scavenger hunt list, Flabber's spell on Joe wears off, and no one can recognize her. They have no time to deal with that, though, as they see Hammerhands smashing a nearby mailbox. They transform and chase them. Heather, Van, and Tripp make it to Hillhurst. The Magnivores get there, too, and hold Van and Tripp's butler Dudley hostage. Inside, Van and Tripp are repeatedly spooked by everything, while Heather narrowly misses seeing any of the monsters. Van and Tripp pick up a book, and Flabber sees it's the spell book he needs to make his spell on Joe permanent. Outside, the Beetleborgs defeat Hammer Hands and rescue Dudley. Van, Tripp, and Heather leave Hillhurst, and the kids go inside. Flabber casts his new spell, and this time it sticks. It's impressive how smoothly Beetleborgs handled a main cast member leaving. Power Rangers, at the same time, was tripping over itself and fumbling most of the time when it came to dealing with cast departures. Jason, Zack, and Trini had zero build-up to them leaving and were replaced with low-quality stand-ins. Kimberly's departure was handled well, but then Aisha's leaving was rushed and kind of confusing. David Yost left on bad terms due to being bullied behind the scenes and was hastily recast and dubbed in a particularly infamous moment. Joe's casting switch is very quick, but is able to feel like a natural part of the episode's plot. Van and Tripp are back, along with Heather. The scavenger hunt plot doesn't really go anywhere or have much weight to anything else going on, it's just something happening. The Hiller's monsters are competing for who's the scariest. It's an okay plot for them. We get to see a new ability of Mums. He can remove an eye and still see with it. Flabber can turn into a fire-breathing dragon. Huh. Alright then. The Magnivore's new monster is entertaining. He's voiced by Mike Reynolds. The end credits, though, say he's Bob Pappenbrook. Maybe Bob Pappenbrook originally did the voice, but then was replaced later by Mike Reynolds? Joe is now played by Brittany Konarzewski. She's only got one credit outside Beetleborgs, a short film. She's apparently retired from acting. There's a lot going on in this episode, even in addition to establishing a new actress. It's all fast-paced and pretty fun. Bernie Konarzewski will remain on the show right up until the end. With such a change, will the show keep its dynamic? Will it change at all? I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the future. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Now eat some popcorn and pay attention. Uh.